improv class, uh, and it was taught by Travis Plager. He's the director and creator of iMusical, an ensemble here at WIT that's been doing musical uh, improv for over six years. Uh, please help me welcome them to the stage. Travis Plager! Pluses for love, uh, and uh, so these are all students that have already taken a song structure class previous to this, and now we are learning how to take those songs and make them into a musical. So that's what we're going to do for you tonight. We're going to do a full musical for you. Wow! Um, wow! Um, so, uh, so to get things started, uh, all I need is a location where two people realistically would be. These suggestions are all still boring. A feather, I heard feather. What was a feather? What? I heard something with a feather. Elevator? Elevator. What's that? Sex club. A sex store. Yeah! Let's do it. so tired of hearing <coughs> dildo over and over. It's <laughs> never dildo, it's always dildo. <laughs> yeah, no, it's for, it's for a friend. <laughs> I know. I just hope, we gotta put out a bigger tip jar. <laughs> Finish my degree. I want to finally take you to a decent restaurant. <laughs> And now my 
my girlfriend, she thinks I'm a prude. And well, I am. I don't know about this membership. I don't think I can. We always talk about our boyfriends. And I his name Sam. So the, the trips got us, us enough to go to Santini's. <laughs> That's so sweet, you know I wanted to go there for so long. They were afraid I was famous. I want to share that with you. <laughs> you know, I've never told you, my middle name's Alfred. Really? That's, that's, that's an interesting fact I didn't know about you. Um, so would you say this is like a special special evening we're going to have? I've got some things planned. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to get these labels on before we can do them. I know, I know. I hate to pull manager on you, but... <laughs> <laughs>
he is pretty cute. I think he has like a really big dick. such a good gift at the time. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Sam, I, I thought Sam was a man, but um Well is she still willing to come and do uh, a couple session with us? I mean Yeah, as long as you don't touch her nope. and she doesn't have to touch you. Hey, I think it'd be totally hot if you guys were <laughs> doing whatever she does. Actually I think I'd like that better. <laughs> Alfredo, that they make in the restaurant here. <laughs> so we could eat it together. Now that you're here, <laughs> I, I thought we were ready to make the move, but I'd, I'd like to eat this, the Alfredo first. <laughs> sort of a tribute to our first date when I wasn't listening. <laughs> to what your needs were. I'm ready to listen. Well, listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe you want to eat your alfredo. I said listen to this. That means you don't talk when I talk. But I made the alfredo for you. Oh my god, enough about the alfredo. <laughs> 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 that's when you don't pick up on. The more classwork I take, the more I see how similar you are to the very children I studied. <laughs> so I had another girlfriend who took psychology and it didn't work. <laughs>
tips? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I did not say we would do tips. Or <laughs> <laughs> Look, like but he said it was okay. I get that. He but doesn't care that you're gay. He really doesn't care. It's yeah. all right. But I have, I really hurt her. And, and we have a new thing. I really don't care that you're gay. I really don't care. <laughs>